Exploring the phrase, blood and sand, a journey into expressive English. Hello, everyone, welcome to our latest video, where we delve into the fascinating world of English idioms and phrases. Today, we're exploring a particularly vivid expression, blood and sand. This phrase is rich in imagery and history, and understanding it can give you deeper insights into English language and culture. So, let's jump right in. The phrase, blood and sand, originates from the world of bullfighting. It refers to the two most prominent elements in a bullfight, the blood of the bull and the sand of the arena. This expression became well known through the 1922 Spanish novel, Sangre y Arena, by Vicente Blasco Ibanez, and its various film adaptations. The phrase captures the essence of the bullfight, a dramatic, often brutal dance between man and beast, where both glory and tragedy can unfold on the sandy arena. Beyond its literal meaning, blood and sand has taken on symbolic connotations. It's often used to describe situations that are intense, violent, or passionate. The phrase evokes images of struggle and conflict, where both beauty and brutality can be intertwined. It's also used to describe scenarios where courage, honor, and danger are present, much like in a bullfight. In modern English, Blood and sand is used both in its literal sense when referring to bullfighting and metaphorically in various contexts. You might hear it in discussions about sports, politics, or even personal challenges. It's a powerful way to describe situations where stakes are high, emotions are intense, and outcomes are uncertain. The phrase has been used in literature and media to convey drama and intensity. For instance, in movies and books that deal with themes of conflict, survival, and human endurance, blood and sand adds a layer of gravitas and emotional depth. It helps create vivid imagery and convey the seriousness of the situations being depicted. Blood and sand is more than just a phrase. It's a window into a world of intense emotions, struggles, and the human spirit. We hope this video has given you a better understanding of this expressive English phrase and the rich cultural context behind it. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to bringing you more insights into the English language in our upcoming videos.